Hey, hey. I'm in Romania, in Europe. And I'm going to share something that might change your view. And I won't title this one. This video is going to blow your mind. No, because, you know, my reality is different than yours. Let me show you. You can see the beauty everywhere you go. One day my mind is set to see the ugly and I can see garbage, I can see garbage everywhere. Another day it's set to see big souls. In the morning I was set to see the good in people. And I stopped by two people and I gave them some uh, insight. I told someone Actually, I'm not going to share what I said, because it doesn't matter, it's between me and that person. Actually, no, three, three, three people. I said something to three people. They uh, impacted me, in a way. One, it's a teacher. And I was uh, maybe a teenager or something like that. And she said something about me, about how she see me, and about my future. And those words got stuck somewhere in my heart. And when I look at myself and I kind of brought back those memories about what she said, I thought she was right. Because as a teacher, as experienced teacher, she was able to recognize people, re value and stuff, you know. And they had an impact. I don't have to be a lawyer or a rich person to add value to the community, to the society. So right now I'm walking through my car and before that I need to stop by a store to get some stuff. So coming back to the Bible. What's the Bible? Because those who are religious think, oh that's a stupid guy. He pretends or he thinks that he knows about Bible. And I'm telling you, I did not read the Bible. <laughs> so, and you might ask, how come you have the courage to say that you know about the Bible since you never read the Bible, right? Let me see. Do I have a button? No. So I can go, ta -da. I can go, I can cross. It's a kind of a dangerous place <laughs> if you're a pedestrian. But it's okay. See, that's the way they park the car on the sidewalk. That's okay. So I listened to some of the verses, or I don't know how you call it in English, of the Bible. I'm a visual and auditive learner. And what I do, I, I pick the method that is in tune with my mind. So if I am going to read the Bible, it requires a mental effort and need to process uh, through eyeglasses or something. And I don't want to put effort into something that is supposed to come to my mind naturally. So the Bible might not be for me. But some, some people, they go with, uh, uh, with the stuff that is being forced into their mind. It's like a, you know, trying to squeeze a, a wrong screw or a wrong thread screw into a nut. 
they don't go easy you have to put more effort so that's stupid so if Bible is not a good fit for my mind why well, I need to force myself to believe in something that's not for me so Bible is not for everyone Quran same thing some people are born into a society they follow the rules but they don't like it they they are not tuned with the society but I take my mask off because it's oh, it's really annoying uh, I'm taking the chance to get busted by the cops oh but there is a chick she's smoking she took the mask off and she's smoking yeah here people smoke on the on the streets and um, yeah so I'm going to follow the, the Yeah, even these ones, they don't wear masks, so I'm going to put the mask on once I'm done with the recording. Uh, it might be a long recording because it's... Uh, wow, so they have some beauties walking around free. Uh, like... A, a beauty roaming around like a, it's a free world. Keep the beauties in the cage because they might escape. Anyway, so my sarcasm is not good for some people. Uh, Bible and Quran and other religious books. But they are. And I'm going to share what. Okay, I see the gypsy using the garbage bin, garbage can, that's that's good thing, you know, because they used to leave junk all over the place, so now here I see it's cleaner, so that's weird because if I go in the same town some, uh, some other place I see the garbage so it's cool to see the gypsy using the garbage I mean the, yeah, the, the garbage can So let me start with uh, inventors, what inventors are. Then I'll connect the dots or I'll help you to connect the dots and I'll get to the Bible. So I got some uh, blood sample and a urine sample and I might talk in a way that people don't get it. But I have an excuse, that's why I showed you where I got uh, the blood samples uh, I mean the, 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 the spot so since I have a lack of oxygen for my brain it might sound uh, weird or confusing but that's okay so let me find a spot where I can like a, a shade okay so you see the this is guy a, it's a common thing to see these crosses where in this case uh, it's in a memory in a memory of someone uh, but you see these ones on the side of the road and what I notice the Christians are doing the cross the cross sign uh, I don't know why why they are installed on the side of the road in different other areas maybe to remind people to make the cross sign and think of uh, Jesus I don't know anyway so uh, rarely I see cops in the intersection directly in the traffic see another guy ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! let me do that Yeah, maybe the rush hour. Yeah, maybe they, because of the rush hour, the cops. Are directing the traffic. I don't know. Anyway, 
they have a, a role in a society so going back to the inventors what type of people those are like a, how come two people let me see he is wearing mask yes the top uh, how come two inventors on two different places in the world without connecting to each other without talking to each other they invent the same thing at almost the same at the same time so how is possible so I'm giving you the answer if you if you don't know because I don't know everything but I know a couple of things and uh, I did experiments oh ambient oh that's the store I want to go to there are people in the world who have an ability to connect to the field better than others so you can connect to the let's, let's call it the same like a scientific way quantum field because uh, the name sounds very cool see the trees I need to wait, uh, finish the video, the recording. <coughs> okay, now I can take the, the mask off. See? Once I connect to this guy, this tree, it's like uh, I can ignore the, the road noise. If I pay attention to the road noise, it becomes noisier. But once I connect to this one, my mind is connected to the trees and to the flowers and all that. And it's interesting. It's interesting how you can focus your brain, let's call it brain for now, in a material, uh, in a physical form, uh, your computer, how you connect it, you can focus on things that are important for you and you can ignore other things yes i i can so the once i connect to the flowers like my mind is focused on the flower the noise the ambient noise goes down yeah yeah i was a kid i know making sounds experimenting having fun so inventors, they are people who have an ability to connect and they connect to a database that contain information about your past, future, future events and if I want to explain about the time concept and why for us there is a time because it appears to be a time and when you get outside of this space dimension whatever there is no time and if you want to understand that concept you go on the internet and check out uh, people who explain it better and have time to explain and focus on that topic myself I am uh, a, my uh, topic today is about Bible and other religious books I did access information about the future thing and at first it was a bit interesting then strange then and since I, I I came here in Romania I'm getting almost every day a premonition like a, uh, I'm getting some information that happens the same day or next day even my brother had one a very nice one he found a friend who is a runner so he is doing marathons and all those type of stuff and he found the guy and he said yeah we are in this little town mountain town 
and we are visiting we are uh, next to a tower so if you want to see the tower check out my other recording it's a kind of a wooden metal tower 28 meter tall uh, it's a tourist attraction so he phoned his friend and the friend said huh how come uh, I just ran by that tower about half an hour ago if I knew that you were in town I would uh, invite you for a coffee or something and I told my brother you, you know you have that ability to tap into the future or in the past but you never connected to that to the information but you accessed it right and someone confirmed that you actually had access to the information same thing with the inventors now what the bible has anything to do with what i'm talking about bible it's a religious book written for humans for people but not every person is in tune with those teachings uh, it was written for a certain category of people it doesn't matter their color their you know people who feel in tune with the, the bible they know you know they read a little bit and they they think oh you know what i like it this is a book for me i like the teachings i like how uh, i see people following and living a life a, a life based on the, those uh, teachings so that's with uh, with the bible it's not for everyone if let's say if i'm uh, from uh, mars from from different planet but i was supposed to be born on earth if i grab the bible it might not be for me if i got, grab the Quran or uh, some other religious books uh, i may find connecting to that those books so bible is not for everyone some people choose where to be born choose their parents it's a it's a it's a theory it confirms in many cases uh, the theory works uh, i'm not sure that's the truth but about the bible it's a collection of teachings that were written uh, not a, after jesus teachings but also before jesus but those teachings are related to humans now i'm going to say something weirder if you go on to different planet where there are different type of species different life forms those create uh, those uh, life forms have different rules of life doesn't mean god created only humans and those humans are the only species on the universe and uh, known and unknown universe there are multiple types of species it's not only species with a shape like us with two eyes a nose or something that's what people think because or people believe because they have limited limited uh, amount of information dif uh, limited knowledge and limited ability to discover new worlds and new species so we are supposed to take baby steps in order to understand the universe and understand the creation and uh, you know to avoid a shock uh, uh, species and cultural shock we need to take it easy we may have to discover uh, some species through different means than direct contact to understand that they are not thinking like the humans like oh yeah those guys are going to kill us those guys are going to eat us or something like that or those uh, create, uh, creatures might have a curiosity maybe they don't act like humans at all so imagine that if they are different and living in different environment having different realities different ability to think or process information or interact with the matter or uh, different forms of the world uh, maybe it's not something material that we can understand so those will react 
in a different way because they grew up or they were created for different purpose differently but humans were designed based on certain type of natural rules and they have to integrate into the local universe in, onto the earth and those who wrote the bible not those who translated and modified but those who thought okay i got these rules or, or this teaching from god yes because they were able to connect the way the inventors are able to connect and they were able to access different things that in their heart they came from god people who connect to this type of higher beings they feel it they 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 uh, not just thinking oh yeah i think the let's make up a rule i think it's uh, going to fit human uh, society is going to fit uh, Christian world or anything like that no they feel it they uh, recognize the information is coming from a different type of source is a it's a higher a higher level source higher intelligence so some uh, some people recognize that I'm not speaking Romanian and uh, they stop, they pretend they do something and they listen what the heck this guy is talking about in the in English language. Anyway, so that's kind of the idea. Those who wrote the Bible, those were able to connect, like the inventors are connecting to the same field that contain information. And in the field, there are a number of rules, there are a number of discoveries, uh, laws of, of physics, uh, laws of mathematics uh, and things that we haven't discovered yet and some people are able to access the future like uh, Nikola Tesla and other, other people but we are not ready for those the Bible contain basic rules and not only rules, teachings that are for simple people they may not be in tune with a, a scientific mind. They might not be in tune with a sophisticated mind that uh, want to live a life at different level. Doesn't mean they are smarter, but they think that they want to achieve stuff. They want to fulfill some personal goals and leading a quiet and healthy and stable life is not something that they are interested in those people who want uh, to learn stuff without putting effort or without being a pioneer like myself you know, i'm a guy who uh, love to learn by myself if i can learn a teaching a rule if i can discover or if i can confirm I'm going for that because it helps me to discover by myself instead of allowing someone to control my mind. And according to some people who are very religious, some things that I came up with are already in the Bible. So I'm walking around, I'm going, I'm connecting to the nature and I get an idea okay you know if you do this it can happen that or if uh, this can lead to that and stuff and I'm talking to some people like I have few friends um, I have also someone at work who is a religious person and these people confirm oh yeah that's in the Bible it's like a, it's nothing new I, I did not want it to take credits for what ideas came to my mind but they are also in the Bible so I, I don't read Bible like I said um, also I talked to someone today in the morning a guy who used to be part of a religious sect in Romania those guys were kind of a uh, I don't know uh, chased by the 
the uh, old regime. Some sort of a nice religious people, but they were, were in a minority and uh, very, very religious. And one of the guys, my friend, like from the childhood, used to be part of that sect. He used to go as a kid. Now he's kind of disconnected and started to uh, started drinking. And uh, I see his uh, life is not that good. And. Uh, in the morning I shared uh, a story of another friend who had a deep coma, like a deep, like a clinical death or some stuff like that. And I shared the story because I, I trust that guy and he did not make up stuff. And I read about that. And I shared to this guy, to my uh, childhood friend, and he said, yeah, yeah, it says in the Bible about the uh, will of life or something like that. And I said, oh, yeah, okay. So there are things in the Bible that can be confirmed or can be uh, verified in a real life. When I was younger, um, I tried to read the Bible, but it was not for me. It was not a, a book that had anything to do with science, anything to do with uh, my way of thinking at the time. I was not uh, like a inexperienced. And I thought, oh, okay, that's uh, it's a bunch of bullshit. I don't want to read anything about it. But over the years, I grew up in life experience. I had some life events. And uh, then I uh, started to seek, like I tried to discover stuff. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, some of the things I went through uh, are uh, described in the Bible. And I did not reach to the Bible because I went through the life events or anything like that. But I thought, kind of an interesting coincidence. Uh, I, usually I don't pay attention to those, but one coincidence, another one, another one. I said, oh, that's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, maybe it's uh, worth checking out what's in the Bible. And I still did not read the Bible, like I said. But I, I started to connect the dots. So again, because I'm uh, at the end of my uh, recording, I don't want to... That's the... Uh, It's not a police car, it's a... Uh, what's called? I forgot, it's another type of police service. Like in Canada, you have the cops, and you have the... Hmm, I forgot, those... The Sheriff. Sheriff. Yeah, those guys. It's a, it's a similar type of a government agency. Anyway. Uh, what I was trying to say about the Bible, it, 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 it's a collection of life rules that help people who don't have the ability or the time or the mind power to discover by themselves. And they let others to help out with a, you know, an easier life, like a, to navigate through life with, easy, with ease instead of them spending the energy experimenting and trying and failing uh, seeking so if you want it easier you can rely on this book because it was brought to the humans by people who were able to connect to the field so now some people call it God, some people call it quantum field, doesn't matter. It's a field loaded with information about everything. And I could expand the video, I could give you details for the details and I can branch it out on different things. But it's for those who understand what I'm talking about. 
I mean, it's easy to understand. I made it easy to understand. But some people are not open, are not willing to uh, open to the idea that a regular guy, some dude like myself, can explain what's the Bible because people think, okay, that's a, it's a kind of a special book written by God or something. Yeah, it is written by God through people. So in you, there is a there is a part of God. So you are God. God is everywhere, everything. The atoms this whole is made of are animated and maintained in a shape by this everything, right? So it's like a, you are in the computer, you are in the field, field is you, you are the field, and who made the field, how the field is made, how the field has this information about the past, the future, where this information is being recorded. This is a bit complex for uh, a person who is not seeking. So you, if, when you start seeking, not seeking God to help you, but seeking the information and uh, tuning into the information and uh, allowing the information to come to you, uh, then you start to understand, but bit by bit, little by little, it's not like, uh, oh yeah, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I see God, I understand God, I, I feel the quantum field or something. No, no, it's little by little, you have to tune little by little and you have to allow the information, you have to open and uh, use less intellect because the intellect will keep you connected to the reality that you are supposed to experience here through your five senses but once you expand and you allow the information then you start to understand oh and you get ideas and you think, oh, that's interesting. How come uh, I thought of that guy and he just phoned me? How come uh, I felt something and uh, my close relative just passed away or something? How come I sense the storm when it's, before it's coming? Stuff like that, you know, it's going to come to you, but you have to be open to that. If you are a closed mind, uh, either intellectual person, so you rely only on your brain power, or you are a super religious person and you go just by what it, uh, they tell you in a church or in uh, some religious books that I might not be for you, uh, then you are not open to the information and you expect God to give you a hand or God solve your problems. It might, it might, because following the, the religious books uh, where you don't have to rediscover the world, someone else discovered it for you through the teachings that were written for people, come, let's say, coming from God. Yeah, if you are uh, not open to this type of extra stuff, then you must follow the, the religious books in order to have an easier life and not be the pioneer in certain type of in certain areas of your life. So let you go, see you later, bye bye.